So top of the 11 o'clock news here. We have some breaking news on a Georgia story that has been talked about around the nation. Glad you're with us. I'm George Estevez. I'm Jovita Moore. We're going to catch you up on the coronavirus impacting Georgia shortly. But first, the father and son accused of murdering an unarmed man in Brunswick are now in jail tonight. We got these pictures about an hour ago. Neighbors say they show the GBI arresting Gregory McMichael and his son Travis McMichael. After pleas from Georgia and around the country for this to happen, the GBI tweeted about the arrest around 8 o'clock this evening. Then just before we came on the air, we got these mug shots of the father and son spending the night tonight in jail. They're charged with murdering Ahmad Arbery back in February and tonight. In less than an hour, he would have celebrated his 26th birthday. Now, Arbery's family has been grieving for weeks with no answers, but just a few days ago when the video came out, their story really got the country's attention. The video's graphic, but it's important to watch. Don't worry, we cut out the worst of it for you. So we froze it here because, again, the rest of it is just way too much to show here anyway. Channel 2's Tony Thomas just got to Brunswick this evening. He joins us now live, standing by. Tony? Jovita, the McMichaels held tonight here at the Glen County Jail, arrested just a few miles away in the same neighborhood where the shooting took place. Tonight, 64 year old Gregory McMichael, a former Glen County police officer, and his son, 34 year old Travis, are in the Glen County Jail under arrest for the death of Ahmad Arbery. Today, Governor Kemp said video of Arbery's February shooting is what prompted him to ask the GBI to get involved in investigating the 25-year-old's death. I watched the video depicting Mr. Arbery's last moments alive. I can tell you it's absolutely horrific and Georgians deserve answers. I have full confidence in Vic Reynolds and the Georgia Bureau of Investigation. I know that they will be working around the clock to thoroughly and independently investigate Mr. Arbery's death to find the truth. That video shows Arbery running down a road in Brundrick, Georgia. Then you see the McMichaels waiting for him in the road. There was a struggle, and then the unarmed Arbery is shot and killed. According to a police report, the father and son said they thought Arbery was a break-in suspect and shot the man in self-defense. Protesters' calls for these arrests has the attention of President Trump and his political opponent, former Vice President Joe Biden. My heart goes out to the uh, parents and to the loved ones of the young gentleman. It's a very sad thing, but uh, I will be given a full report this evening. You well, shouldn't have to worry. Mother, black mothers shouldn't have to worry when their sons go out to walk down the street or jog down the street that this could happen. Thursday morning, Arbery's mother told Good Morning America she may Amat never be prepared to watch that video herself. Amat didn't deserve to go the way that he went. Channel 2's Tony Thomas now live in Brunswick. Tony, tell me more about the pictures of the arrest scene. The woman who uh, took these pictures says the neighborhood over there was quiet tonight. So she drove over there to pay her respects at a little memorial that had been set up near the shooting scene but she was blocked by a caravan of GBI agents. She didn't want to be identified, but described what she saw. And we witnessed an older gentleman standing in the driveway in handcuffs, and they were speaking to him. And then they walked him to one of the trucks, and just probably a minute later, a younger gentleman was walked out of the house in handcuffs. There's a mom hurting without a son, and there's a family hurting tonight because people have been arrested. And Jovita, the GBI says it will update this case at 9 a.m. tomorrow in a press conference here in Brunswick. And the Georgia NAACP confirms to me tonight that a pre planned, already planned protest scheduled for just an hour later at the Glen County Courthouse will continue. Live in Brunswick, I'm Tony Thomas, WSB Tonight. And you'll be down there covering for us for this for us tomorrow. Tony, thank you.